Hello, hello, hello. We're jumping back in with another Professor Layton stream. We are jumping into the lost future. And yeah, let's see where we we're at. Uh, we're at 78 out of the 78 puzzles found. Uh, I think we're at chapter 7 or 8 the last time I saw her. Alright, the story so far. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, Luke and the others have a brief but <coughs> intense encounter with a tough rabbit by the name of Subject 3. Following some negotiation, the rabbit lets the crew pass through the riverside area. Oh, I remember, we stopped outside the pub. How you doing, Carl? How you doing, Freya? Yes, Freya, it's puzzle time. <coughs> uh, using the clues they obtained in Chinatown, our heroes attempt to track down the future Leighton. How's everyone doing? We found a hidden puzzle straight off the bat. I'm doing well, thank you, Freya. I'm doing well. Um, we're jumping straight into our first puzzle of the stream. Uh, these four cards, 0, 1, 2 and 6, can be used to display different times of the day. As seen in the example 2.16. Here. Using the 24 hour clock, how many different times can be displayed by rearranging the four cards? You must use all four cards to display each time the cards can't be overlapped. <coughs> Alright, straight away, this one can be used as a 6 or a 9. So. Um, how many different times? <coughs> um, and yes, that's a 69. Just for anyone interested, that is a 69. Um, so I can go 01. Two six. O one two nine sixty nine exactly for it. Um, you can go O six one two O. Six two one O nine one two O nine two one And that's just keeping the zero at the front. Uh, you can't put a nine or a six at the front, but you can put a one and a two. So we do a one two Zero six one two zero nine. I don't know whether I'm overthinking this or just I'm going the long way about it. Um, one two. You can't have a six zero. Can't have a six zero, and you can't have a nine zero. That's just... you're doing decent, Carl. Nice to hear. Nice to hear. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, running on little sleep still, but hopefully my sleep schedule will uh, fix itself in a bit. Um, we can have a 21.06 and a 21.09. You can't have... Uh, how you doing? I got uh, to lurk while I set stuff up. I want to say hi and watch a bit. No worries, welcome. Lurk, you do you. There's no pro. There's no uh, pressure to stay here and watch. We're just happy you drop by. How you doing, Lily? Uh, I am getting the twenty. Um, one six and twenty one nine. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. At the moment, chat, I've got 14. Ignore this circle now. And ignore the 69. Is there any times you think I missed using those four numbers? We haven't done any. Oh, we've done twelves here. We've done oh nine. So I don't think there is any more. Here's my answer. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I've got a bit of a cough, uh, Lily. Um, I find when I sleep. A lot less I get a cough. Uh, and normally when I sleep a lot better I don't cough at all. <coughs> so I'm not sure whether it's to do with that, whether it's Rona, but it's just a simple cold because the temperature's dropped. Um, I'm not too sure. But I'm here. Uh, I counted way more than 16. Then 14. What else have you got? What am I missing? <laughs> That's so odd, and that means you're still not sleeping soundly. Yeah. What am I missing, Freya? Oh, yes. We can do 16, and then it'll be an O, 2, and a 16, 2 O. How you doing, Becky? So you're thinking it's 16, Freya, or are you still counting more? I'm going to go 16 before you uh, tell me I forgot more. There's still more for it. Yes, it's back to the drawing board. It's saying to work backwards and eliminate answers that are impossible. How how are you and George, Becky? Uh, you counted twenty. Okay. That's definitely a 16. So, the ones you can't do... I don't have any 19s. I missed their 19s out. 0, 2, 19, 20. So that's getting me up to 18. Well, guess what? Um, um, uh, you took Maya out for a walk. I don't quite know. I don't know what the boundaries of uh, the guessing. I'm sorry. I don't know the boundaries. Alright, Fred, what's your final answer? What, are you thinking it's 20? Because I don't know which two I'd be missing from my... 18. But we'll go 20. Here's my answer. 10, 26, 10, 29, no yes. Can stop Layton's apprentice. It was 20 at the end. Yeah, I was missing these two. Well played. Stick in the fork in this. Stick a fork in this puzzle. It's done. What a saying. Did Becky have steak for dinner? Alright, 
time, so we're talking to this dude. Gentlemen, miss, welcome to the Thames Arms. Good afternoon. We're here in search of an acquaintance who may have come by here today. Well, as you can see, it's fairly quiet. One regular came in earlier, but he left a few minutes ago. <coughs> I see. This regular didn't happen to come from Chinatown, did he? Um, forgive me, but it doesn't seem right to give out that kind of information without his consent. Of course. I understand your position. <laughs> Becky leaving us in suspense. I don't blame her, I left her in suspense for a long time. Uh, yesterday, was it? <coughs> However, this information could be vital. The fate of London hangs in the balance. That's quite a claim to make. Okay, how about this? If you can help me with a problem I'm having, perhaps I'll help you with yours. Puzzle 81, guys. Dice dates. Okay, you decide. Can I move? I've got to draw a circle. Alright, you decided to make a special pair of dice for your desk that can display each date of the month numerically, as shown by the 12 at the top of each screen. Each date must use the both dice, however, which means single digit dates, like the first to second of the month, will be respectfully as 01 and 02. You thought you had the design sorted, but the layouts below can't display all the dates. Draw a circle around the one number that needs to be changed. Alright. <coughs> Becky smacked your the elbow on George's desk. You're in lots of pain for ages, couldn't move your arm. George be there thinking you're a drama queen. I asked complaints about it for hours, then I felt the need to force my arm to bend properly. It popped. You dislocated your arm? Wow. Wow. You just dislocated your arm from just sort of banging it on the desk. Wow. And George did not believe you. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Did you tell him off? Did you sort him out? Alright, we can do 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06. We can't do 07, 8, and 9. So only one number needs to change. Can I just circle it all? can't be the ones, it can't be the twos because you've got to have 22 and 11. I really don't know. I really don't know on this one. And then there's Freya thinking she's got it. Yeah. 
you can't do 070809. Then you could do 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, sorry, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, just in case. No, 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 Dates can't we display? Is it really obvious? Like, is it painfully obvious and I'm just sort of overlooking it completely? Um, cause I, I can't do those. I still think you can't, there's no 0, 7 onwards to 0, 7, 8, and 9. I really don't know. Uh, sorry, I'm just messing with my chat bot. Yeah, give, give me a hint, but not one that sort of uh, gives it away. I'm sort of looking at this side mainly to see what I could change. Um, so obviously you can do 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06. What number can you use in more than one way? Ah! The six and the nine, one of them could leave because one of them, this one, because that would then become a zero. Because that one become a six or a nine, depending on what you need. So maybe that one. I've got a good feeling about this one. Because <coughs> I, I knew there was some digi you can't make. And I knew it'd have to be a zero, but then I was just like, you can't get rid of any of them. But obviously the six and nine are the same, just rotated. Excellent. Your help is much appreciated. Now we've solved your problem, will you tell us about the man who was in here earlier? A deal's a deal. The customer who came by earlier is what some might call a bit of an oddball. That's the second 69 puzzle, yeah. That's going to be the theme of the, this stream. Uh, every time he comes in, he's got different gear on. Maybe he thinks I won't recognise him or something. So he disguises himself? He tries to, I suppose. He says he can't afford to be spotted in public, so he always wears different clothes. And this man hails from Chinatown? That's right. He says he comes from here. Sorry. He says he comes here to unwind. His routine's pretty much the same every time. He usually walks in wearing that top hat of his, orders a coffee, and finds a seat by the window. Do you say he wears a top hat? I did. It's a tall number, like the one your friend is wearing. That's how I always know who he is. But you said that this man has already left for today, correct? That's right. If you'd arrived a few minutes earlier, you'd have bumped into him leaving. Do you suppose he's going back to the Towering Pagoda, Professor? I think there's a good chance of that. Why don't we go and find out? Good idea. Let's go. Have a nice day. 
<laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Barton, are you okay? Hello, Constable. Nice to see you here. Oh, hello. I've uh, been all over town gathering information, you know. But all that walking has put me in the mood for a snack. So that's why you are peeking through the restaurant window. Yes, I must confess that a lovely wobbly jelly caught my eye. Do a hungry man a favour and keep my little break a secret from the inspector, won't you? <coughs> yes, I just did that one, Friday. Uh, that was the first part I did this stream, it was just in front here. Uh, he's been conducting a series of exhaustive interviews with everyone he meets in town. Once he finds a useful source, he really knows how to wring out every last detail. I bet. So yeah, it was here. That was the hidden puzzle. Oh, another puzzle from Subject 3. Hello, Subject 3. What do you want? Um, I was just wondering about something. When those scientists were working on you... Work? It wasn't work, it was torture. Yeah, I know all the mini games unlock uh, bonus puzzles afterwards. Yeah, I'm very familiar with um, the latest sort of series. It's just that I haven't played them for such a long time, I can't remember the story or the puzzles at all. Ah, so, so sorry, what I meant to say was that facility that where they kept you back then. Don't make me think about all that awful place. I've tried my best to block it from memory. My best memory from that time is diving out of there and swimming to freedom. So the facility mustn't be must have been near water. Yeah, you know, I still remember the puzzle I thought up as I swam through the freezing waters. Well, that's some pretty spectacular multitasking. Fair also it's fair that occasionally I don't recognise the puzzles because they're so different in the amount. Yeah, there's um, there's normally like a section of like anywhere between 10 and 15 puzzles throughout the game. From what I remember in like the previous two that um, are literally completely different or just like the art and the wording slightly different. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's weird when I watch um, people play the American version because I'm like, oh, I've never seen that one before. That's throwing me off a bit. All right. Five people are talking about their swimming prowess. The second fastest swimmer is standing next to the biggest person. So it could be this one or this one. I'm guessing if they're going with the biggest. I may have the biggest body, but I'm certainly not the fastest swimmer. Okay. I've got a, the fanciest costume, but I'm no match for B. Uh, I'm the smallest and I'll finish fourth. All right, so he's going to finish fourth. I think that's the first person. I'll beat the person be beside me to win. They'll come second. Who's the fastest swimmer? So I think it might be C. <coughs> oh wait, no. The second fastest swimmer is standing next to the biggest person. That kind of went up a bit, but you get the point. I'm pretty sure A, uh, the smallest, will finish fourth. The second fastest will be this one. Uh, I'll beat the person beside me to win. One. He's definitely not the fastest, so we'll put him at three or five. Um, I've got the fanciest costume, but I'm no match for B. They've got a pretty fancy costume. So maybe he's no match for B. Alright, we're going to go with D. If my... If everything works solved. out. There we go. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Yeah, so we were writing this one being 4th, this one being 5th, because he said he was no match for B. Huh. 
Well, look at that. You must be one of those few humans with something between his ears. Alright, we need to go back to the Towering Pagoda. Oh, my dear sweet fluke. I've been looking everywhere for you. But, Belle, what are you doing here? Please forgive Luke, he is easily flustered. What a pleasant coincidence it is to run into you here. Coincidence? Oh no, no, no. This is nothing short of fate, because you see, Fluke, and I are destined for each other. Ah, Luke. Well, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Fate? Destiny? Luke? Just what have you been telling this poor girl? <laughs> yeah, I do agree with you, Freya. Poor Luke. Me? Nothing. It's all one big misunderstanding. But the bell isn't. We aren't anything. We aren't anything. Oh, Fluke. You're so cute when you get all flustered like that. I could just eat you up. I'm not flustered. Or cute. Shush now, my darling. There'll be a time for chit-chat later. I came to let you know that I've been seeing strange men running all over town looking for you. They keep going on about... Going on and on about the boss, blue caps, and other gibberish. That sounds bad. Professor, do you think the family has finally cottoned on to us? I fear that might be the case. If so, we have limited time. We must gain access to the towering pagoda before the family sends more thugs into the area. Don't be scared, my sweet. I won't let anyone harm you. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, Belle. Thanks for the warning, but you can stop worrying about me now. And you can stop calling me weird names. Alright, let's go. Oh, Fluke. I love it when you play hard to get. It just makes me swoon. Poor Luke. <coughs> the Master of the Towering Pagoda. Chapter 9. He's no, nothing for us. Perhaps a new cravat is what I need to steal the deal. Seal the deal. Hmm. Huh. Ah, uh, feel like I've uh, been standing here for half my life. Uh, I wonder what's happened to him. He's a bit down. He's a bit sad. <coughs> Pavel, why don't you just sort of not get lost? Just which way might must I venture in order to get to Rome? Alright. I'm getting the hint that everyone's literally... There's no new puzzles from everyone. Well, hello again with the snappers. Do you manage to find that nasty man from the towering pagoda? No, it seems we just missed him down by the river. But we believe he's back in the pagoda now. Ha ha ha! All this coming and going must be taken out of you. Good thing you're still young and full of beans. And what about you, Rudolph? Have you resolved your little problem? Hmm, p -p problem I don't know what you mean, lad. Don't play innocent. Luke's talking about your Pladenstein lunchtime rendezvous with Peppa. What? Oh no no no. I was mistaken about all that, really. It's nothing scandalous. Thank you for your concern. But it's all just a big misunderstanding. Please don't pay it any heed. I'm pleased to hear that. There's no reason to worry. Now, come along, everyone. We mustn't waste any more time getting to the Taran Pagoda. Okay, Professor. I'd best heed myself. I'd best heed home myself before Myrtle explodes. It's very deserted here. Alright, we've got to talk to this dude. He's blocking a path. Ward. Ha! Huh. Back again, I see. Yes, we heard that Mr. Layton had returned. That is not incorrect. Then I assume you'll be letting us through. Ha! Huh. I have no objections. Well, that's not entirely true. There is one minor issue left. When the boss gets back, he ordered me not to let anyone through unless they solve this puzzle. Guys, you know what that means. It's puzzling time. Alright, no one has ever triumphed over the impassable gate. Give it a try if you dare. 
make it to the top and I'll let you pass. Slide Professor Layton and Luke into the... Can these rotate? I guess not. Alright. I wanna sh Ooh. This is interesting. I'm assuming we gotta move I think we've got to move this one down at some point. We've got to work our way to get this one below. That's not helping us really there. I think one of the three block L shapes need to be placed in the end square to make some room if memory serves right. Yes. These ones are very... very much trial and error. Because, um, like, I can get that across there. See, the only movable block is... Is it possible to get these L-shaped moves, like, the other way around? Do the crazy thing of restarting. Um, did we just get ourselves back into the same place we were? I think we did. Just a little bit of trouble. could switch these two round a little bit. these type of puzzles. <laughs> uh... 
You keep going back to this spot here. Uh, a way to get the orange to the top and temporarily out the way. Um, I'm not sure whereabouts I was at that point anymore. Because <laughs> so obviously I move it around so quick and there's a delay on chat. See, once that's in, that's stuck. I think the, the green, if the orange is in the side on the right, it can manipulate all the pieces at the bottom to drag the green down. Ah. But we've yet to get Leighton out. got a good feeling about this one. Yes, Friday with all the uh, sort of uh, well, hints throwing out there. We got there. We got there. We now may pass. Whew. Huh. It seems the boss was right about you. He must be the one he's been waiting for. Does that mean we can enter? Head down the street to the pagoda. I wouldn't keep him waiting while I were you. We managed it in the end, chat. And the thing is, if I'm going to speedrun this, that's going to be one of the puzzles that is going to be like a compulsory puzzle. Because it's blocking you from going to one area. <laughs> the towering pagoda is not far now. Too fair, I didn't expect you to succeed in 20 turns, but I ain't complaining. I don't even know how I did it, so if I go back and work to retry it, I don't think I will know how to redo it. So... The Leighton from your time and the one from mine are finally going to meet face to face. That might be tricky because our professor's not here. Huh? Hmm. Where's the professor? <coughs> it's just like he... It's like he just disappeared. But he's just solved that puzzle that got us through the gate. Yes, and then we walked through the gate together. He was a bit ahead of us. By that point, I think he might have waved at me before he vanished. What? But where did he go? I'm not sure. He was smiling as he, as he dashed off, though. But why? <coughs> I have no idea. The professor's actions always have some purpose, though. Hey, Flora, there's a piece of paper stuck on it to your back. Oh, how embarrassing. Someone must be playing a trick on me. There's something written on it. It's in the professor's handwriting. Uh, let's have a look. It says, go on without me. I'll catch up with you soon. Uh, you recall there's a puzzle requirement for the Pagoda Gate as well? But you forgot the number? Well, we will soon find out, because I reckon we'll be fairly close to it. I think we should go do as he says. The Professor never led us astray after all. I agree. This is probably all part of his brilliant plan that the Professor concocted. That's all very well, but will one of you Lukes please take this paper off my back? Oh, that was the puzzle. <coughs> I thought you meant there's going to be like another gate to actually enter the pagoda. Hey, hey, what are you lot doing back here? We're on our way to the towering pagoda. Not that it's any of your business. No, no, not so fast. You're the ones who went on a rampage in the casino, aren't you? What if we are? What are you going to do about it? Uh, I, my brother Chelton, give you a good idea if I he hadn't gone to um spend a penny. Looks like we're in luck at then, eh? We'll just be on our way now. Uh, yeah, it's it's normally in these puzz in like the later chapters. There's a more of a sort of a puzzle requirement, but because uh, we've been playing it by like talking to everyone, I was hoping that. We sort of always outdo the puzzle requirements. Um, if you run off, I'll make sure Chopton squishes you like an ant when he finds you. 
or bear that in mind. Wait, one more thing. Um, solve this puzzle. Oh, a photo finish. <coughs> Alright, this photo, taken out of the finish line of a race, has been cut into strips and mixed up. Before it is cut, the photo has played the runners in order they finished the race. Which of the runners came third? Circle the letter that corresponds to your answer. Okay. These two match up. These two match up. And this one matches up to... Wait, no, these two don't match up. Because there's no bird head. Oh, no, you can do. No, sorry. So if we say that's one, that's two. Three, because it's... No, 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 no. So I'm just having a look again. These two match up. These two match up. And this one matches up to... something. This one matches up to this one because it's the back of the birds, I think. No, that won't make sense. Uh, JK is in front of DE, from the looks of it. JK is in front of DE. Yep, it could be looking at this bit. So it could go. Uh, let's choose a different colour. One, two, three, four, five. Everyone agree, disagree, um, which would then make You see a mistake? Um, look in front of F. So there's got to be... Ah, so this one could be the tail here. It could be a one, two, three, four, five at this rate now. <coughs> if I corrected it again. Which would make sense because you can't have a number one with two people in front. Which means these are one, two, and F would be third? No. Yeah, F would be third because we're going by the black numbers at the bottom. Um, so it'd be these two in first and second, and F's just ahead. Unless you're counting this cat Uh, we'll try F, we'll try F. But that cat I is very suspicious. 
I don't like it. He does a frown just Possibly before not. he goes, yes, it's I correct. Think not. It really throws you off. <laughs> Blast, you solved it. We really don't have any time any more time for this silliness. We'll be heading out. <coughs> I know I don't like that for that frown either. They normally they give you like a bit of a grin to on the third sort of instalment of the clips. But like the, these ones in this game, they just seem to frown. Uh, fine, but remember, you got lucky. But I think future Luke has his teeth show when he's about to fail. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep an eye. I might get, a, if I know he's solving, I might get it wrong on purpose and then get it right and then you can, we can compare. If my brat was here, you'd be the one getting bossed around. Are you finished? Th this is no, ain't over. Mark my words, you're going to get what's coming to you. I can't get over Flora's voice. You're a fine one to talk. <sighs> uh, sorry to keep everyone waiting. Let's be off. Where did you go? <laughs> one minute you were there, and the next you'd vanished. Yeah, because uh, you don't hear much of Flora in the first or the second game. You hear like, because uh, Flora's at the very end of the first one. You don't hear much, and then she's not in the second one all that much. So I don't remember actually hearing her voice too much in the first two games. <coughs> so hearing her every so often in this one is a bit odd. My apologies, Luke. I just needed to check something. I wouldn't have matched that voice either to her. It is a bit too creepy, <laughs> like you've said for her. Mad enough about that. Come along, everyone. The towering pagoda is just steps away. <coughs> At last, we're here. And somewhere up there is the future Professor Layton. Perhaps, and perhaps not. I suspect this whole affair may be more complex than we originally thought. Yes. Huh? He's sus. He's so suspicious. Alright. I suppose it wouldn't would be too much to expect the door to be open. Let's see. The eyes of this dragon seem to be the key to that unlocks this door. Sounds like a puzzle. Let me handle it, Professor. I'll have the door open before you know it. Eye of the dragon. Keep that in mind. <coughs> These dragon eyes are not spheres, but dodecahedrons. That means... Both of them are 3D objects made up of 12 pentagons. Though one of the eyes is already made, the other one still needs to be assembled. Which option, A, B or C, will you create the eye that's exactly the same as the other ones that are folded together? Um, <coughs> I'm not too sure. Uh, future loot just seems uh, a bit suspicious. right now as if like he didn't want professor figuring something out or like there's a small detail the future luke's missed out on telling everyone um so that would go to there that would go to there that would go to here i don't think it's if i matched up right i don't think it's b I'm gonna go here. Yeah, th there's loads of options. Like, like Friday said, uh, he could be confused. Didn't like what this uh, what was being suggested. Uh, I think it's A from if I'm if I'm actually pairing these up properly. I think it could be A. Who knows? I'm sure we'll find out this? very soon. 
if anything's going to be revealed, it's got to be soon, surely. After all, Luke tends to get befuddled, whatever things. Yeah, look, Luke gets flustered all the time, whether it's by females or later. All right, all set. Smashing work, Luke. There's no time to celebrate. Let's head inside. See, he's too eager. He's too eager. Oh. I'm liking this uh, funky music going on. Uh... What's this contraption, Professor? It appears to be a peculiar set of goggles. I think they, they're too big for me. Let's see. Ah, this is some sort of personal pro projection device. Personal what? Think of it as a television for one, Luke. Only the wearer can see the image displayed inside. I'd wager that there's a puzzle in these goggles that only the wearer can see. Solving it is probably the only way to get through the door. Now that's high tech. They should fit me comfortably. Let's have a look. Ha, <laughs> look in. What do you see, Professor? Gee, those glasses make you look like a bug. A robot bug. I think something's coming into focus here. Strange glasses. Alright, I'm circling something. Alright, these two circular images show what you are seeing through your right and left eyes. The images were originally the same, but one of them has now flipped. Right to left, and rotated an unknown amount of times. Uh, the shapes are all the same as in the original image, with the exception of one which has been slightly altered. Circle the shape that's been altered. Leighton does look very funny. Look at him. Look at him. Why is Luke fiddling with the antennas? Alright, stop messing around, guys. Is it just me, or it could be the pixel art, but there's like a few bit pixels going off the bottom, but that could literally just be the game. Um, Um... It could be the pixel art again, but it looks like this has got like a roundish edge at the bottom. Or is this one's very um, square off? Like these don't look like proper flat edges. They look like they're rounded. Based off that, I'm going to go E. Let's see if I've got this right. No. Hmm. Again, because it's I so must small. I overlooked something. It could just be the pixel art coming out. Alright, chat. I've had a go. What do everyone else think it is? I'm, this part is very suspicious. G? Fry's going for G. So it's either G or F if memory serves right. Um, so technically, we got sort of like two votes for G. Or like one and a half, because the other half is for F. Um, so we'll we'll go we'll go with G. <coughs> that should do the trick. All right, it's G. Well, that's settled. The line is parallel with the center. 
It's easy to be fooled by flipping, but if you pay attention to the relationship between the shapes and the axis, the answer is pretty easy. Okay. Phew, what a relief to take those off. I was feeling all lightheaded and I was having trouble focusing. But it was all worth it. Thanks to you, the door's unlocked and we're free to move on. There's got to be another hint coin somewhere. There. It's so gloomy. And there are dragons all over the place. Alright, we've got a henchman. So, you're the one who's been bullying my brother, Barney. You're going to pay for that. Well, well. Look who went crying to the older boys. What an impressive act of bravery. Quiet you. What was I supposed to do back there? I was outnumbered. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, there, there. I understand. You're only small and you knew. You had no chance of stopping us. So you're getting this big lump here to do your dirty work for you? Ha! <laughs> Sticks and stones, sunshine. Believe you me, if the boss of our vines in the pagoda, I'd have pounded you already. Since I can't do that, I'll have to sock it to you with this vicious puzzle. Would you like me to deal with this one, Big Luke? Don't trouble yourself with this piece of riffraff, Professor. I can handle anything he dishes out. Uh, yeah, they could have called back up, dumped all on ground, blocked off a path. There's many things. Yeah, there's there's loads of things they could have definitely done. <coughs> um, two criminals want to use this board to seal off a cave where they store their smuggled goods. If they cut the board into two pieces of identical size and shape, they'll they'll be able to seal the cave entry entrance completely. All right. Equal size and shape, which is the key bit here. Uh, draw a line on the board that indicates where it needs to be cut. Um, easy. Says Freya. I'm onto something. Don't think too hard. But now you just made me want to, made me think harder. Wait, wait, wait. Don't. There's uh, three, three by two plus the next one, three by two with the next one. I mean, you said you wanted Allow to see to what. Allow me present my solution. Oh yeah, I wanted to see what our fellow loot one does. I think not. Uh, puzzle ninety-two. We'll go back in. So much for that puzzle. What are you going to do now? Huh. You're lucky the boss doesn't let me rough people up in here. But you've got to go outside at some point, and when you do, watch your back. Yeah, too rough. Think extra hard. Darn. Time to too late. <laughs> Uh, I, I could do believe I've got the answer. Oh yeah, he does show his teeth. How he does show his teeth a little bit. But it still throws me off. It still throws me off. <laughs> Wait, do we get more parrot stuff to do? No, everyone's been sorted. We still need to do pitch book and toy car. But we'll do them at a later date. Strange, this whole room is covered in mirrors. Huh, very, it's very confusing. I've got no idea which way we need to go. It seems we've hit a dead end. How do you think we should proceed, Big Luke? Maybe we have to press a hidden panel on one of the walls to open the, the door out there. 
close, but not quite. If my guess is correct, the door is hidden in the dark over there. But we can't just rush headlong into the shadows. There's no telling what traps await us there. Ah, now I see what you're getting at. Are you saying that this room is a puzzle, Professor? That's right, Luke. And I'm about to solve our way, <coughs> our way out of here. Mirror Maze. Alright. Um, 16 circular rooms are arranged in a square as shown below. Beams of light shine in straight lines from each of the four letters A to D and exit through the four yellow arrows. Two sided mirrors in four of the rooms reflect those beams. Each beam passes through the letter of the rooms listed to, to its letter. Uh, identify which of the four rooms contain mirrors and the direction of each mirror faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's only four mirrors. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. So I reckon it could be that to get A. Well, you can use, use deduction for the five to determine its exit or yeah. Four has got to be this one, surely. It can't reach. Oh, well, it could reach that one. But I don't think it can. This one can reach anything else. Four. One, two, three. See, this one can go straight up. So this one's got to do eight. So I'm guessing you can use two mirrors for this one. Pass through eight though. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out. I think that's it because it's using this one twice. That should do the trick. There we go. Just as I suspected. Just as we suspected. Dazzling. Seems my theory was right. This way, everyone. Not that I actually use the hint coins at all. Professor, I think this is the top floor. We must be close now. This is going to be a sliding puzzle one. The future professor's quarters are probably on the other side of that door. But how are we supposed to make it across this huge gap? Does anyone else think this floor looks like a giant sliding block puzzle? An astute observation floor. It seems the floor of this room is yet another puzzle for us to solve. The future Leighton loves to keep things dramatic, doesn't he? That does seem to be the case. Now let's get started on this puzzle. I do love some good sliding um, puzzles, you know. <coughs> Alright, there's only one way to get across this room. In order to proceed, you have to work out how to put four pieces of the dragon walkway back together. The spike ball can also move, be moved freely. 
Um, oh, I want this down. Um, so yeah, I think this needs to be here, this needs to be there. I think I'm getting there. We just need to get this one <coughs> over somewhere. Ah, now that one's now stuck, technically. with me with this once that's in there that's that's blocked in unless like I do that but that's that's crazy that's crazy movement this is all crazy movement right now because <laughs> I think I'm reversing where I need to actually be going <laughs> Who's moving the spiked ball anyway? I'm... Mm. Well, technically I am, but it's a... It's a big debate of whether... Someone should actually be moving the spiky ball or not. I'm going to restart because I need this one... Across the other side. Um, let's get that. Better question. Why is that? Yeah. Don't question the spiked ball. Rule number one of Professor Layton. Don't question the spiked ball. be able to get no I just got it blocked again I think so well maybe not oh this needs to come out These two need to be the other way around. This needs to stay on the right hand side. This needs to stay sort of on the left. over to the right again for some weird reason. Maybe I just need to start rotating them a bit. They can walk across this bit and then jump the rest. How lazy can they be if they don't want to jump the rest? Alright, I think we're getting somewhere.
There we go. That okay, let's check out 66 trick. moves. And go around the circles quite Just a bit. I suspected. But we got there. We got there. We got there. There. It is safe to cross now, everyone. Still don't... Yeah, I still don't understand why there'd be a spice board at all. This is the man who thinks making up a puzzle for moving a banana peel less of a chore. <laughs> Alright, move back everyone, I'm opening the door. At last we get to meet the future Professor Layton. Let's be careful everyone. Um, Professor, is that... Welcome. Herschel Layton. <sighs> I was hoping for a bigger cutscene. Explanation. Are you really <coughs> Professor Layton? <laughs> yes, of course. Don't you recognize your old friend? He doesn't sound like a Professor Layton. Shouldn't the future Luke open the door? Because you know. He's all a yada yada time paradox. Yeah. I don't know. Something about you seems off. Yeah. It seems like an imposter. Surely you recognize yourself, Herschel. Misfortune, our fortune, is a result of your ambition and genius. Hmm. What is it, Professor? You've put on quite a show, but it's clear to me that you're nothing but a charlatan. Oh, is that so? What tipped you off, Professor? <laughs> yes, what indeed. I'm all ears. You, sir, are a fraud, and exposing you for the imposter that you are will prove simple. Fascinating. Do continue. Hey, could you be so kind as to solve a quick puzzle for me? Uh, right now, Professor? Are we in the middle of uh, something here? We are. Mm, we are kind of in the middle of something. Alright, blocks have been carefully stacked as shown in the image below. The image is a view from the side, and the perspective has been rotated in an unknown direction. Gravity is acting on the block, so many blocks do not touch the surface, or a block below it will fall. When you're looking at the blocks from the correct angle, which direction A, B, or C, or D is up? Um, <coughs> so I'm guessing what they're saying is if, like, if B's up, that would be the gravity. And technically that green block would fall, so that's not it. It's, it's not B. If I'm working this out right. Um, but I don't know, because that could technically fall. That would fall, that would fall. So I don't think it's C or B. Um, D? I reckon it's D or A, but D seems more plausible because when it's A, everything's balancing on this point. Whilst this one's got like a fair balance across it all. I'm gonna go with D for now. Hmm. How about this? No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. I see what you missed. <gasps> what have I missed? Yes, yes, the boy's quite bright. We all know that, but what does that have to do with anything? I'm getting there, but first, a question. I have a pen in my pocket. I see a red or blue. Can you tell me which colour it is? What a terribly uncharacteristic query for you to make. There's no logic for me to work through. 
I'm not a mind reader and I refuse to guess blindly. How can I solve your puzzle without a single hint? So in other words, you have no idea what colour pen I have in my pocket? Of course not. That's funny. Oh. Luke, would you happen... What would happen if you remove the bottom row of blocks from that pile I just showed you? The rest of the blocks would fall down, I suppose. Uh, that's right, those blocks in the middle of the structure don't float in midair. Only by resting on the blocks beneath can the blocks stay elevated. If you were really my future self, you would have experienced this very moment before. There's simply no way you could forget it. Given your answer, I can only assume that your memory of this crucial event is missing. But remember those blocks. All blocks are supported by other blocks. When you remove one, everything on top of it comes tumbling down. The same goes for memory. You can't simply be missing a whole block of memory. It would destroy your very persona. It all makes sense now. I see. So what colour is the pen in your pocket then? My pockets are empty. There was never a pen to begin with. Ah, got him. Um, technically, Leighton, this is a paradox problem. Since we changed the path by bringing you forward, the memories might not exist. Yeah. I do agree with you, Friday, where technically it is different. It can be altered. I had a feeling you were behind this, Dr. Stun Gun. Stun Gun. Or, should I say, Dimitri Allen? An impressive deduction. Does anything ever get past you, Herschel? Hmm. Alright. We saw two. Hats off to you, Herschel. This is the guy that did the. Uh, very first time machine when we started the game and it blew up and everyone disappeared so he was like behind it all and he was presumed dead until now so you're the one who's been kidnapping scientists under my name but why have you ever tried to build a time machine by yourself it's a herculean task and by pinning the blame on you, I could disguise myself as one of the poor scientists who vanished. Conveniently, that also provided an excellent way to lure you here. After all, the virtuous Herschel Layton would never stand by as someone sullied his good name. Sure enough, you came running. And faster than expected at that. You're a real piece of work! So why me? You could have chosen anyone to be the scapegoat. Oh no, it had to be you. You see, you play a critical part in the completion of my time mm, machine. Suspicious. Or rather, your memories oh. do. Memories. What are you saying? The best part is that I've already got what I need from you. Of course. So that strange device... Oh, the goggles. Finally catching on, eh? Those glasses you put on were a cognitive capture unit of my own design. In layman's terms, the memory recorder. But what use could you possibly have for my memories? Why, they provide me with data, of course. Your memories contain all the information I need to recreate that fateful day's experiment. Okay. Which day? The day. The day I lost everything that mattered to me. I still don't understand. I'd imagine you know quite a bit about loss yourself, Herschel. Think, man. I'm talking about Claire. Oh, the girl that Layton keeps seeing. Claire. Claire. As you know, time travel is based on movement through wormholes. One end of the wormhole is anchored in the present. But every wormhole also needs a point of origin. And to find this point of origin, one needs data. Okay. Both you and Bill had substantial interactions with Claire on the day of the accident. 
Using your memories of those interactions, I will triangulate the point right before her death. Of course, finding a wormhole's point of origin is no easy task. So, the aim is to save Claire from dying. If my calculations were even the slightest bit off, I could be trapped. Hmm. Forever. Then why take the risk? What do you stand to gain? Everything. You see, like you, Herschel. It's all I for love. Claire. So, you intend to travel back through time and save her? Surely you wouldn't stop me. After all, haven't you wished for this yourself? Uh, I don't think Leighton would risk time, breaking time in that. Nothing can excuse the kidnapping of all those scientists. Not even this, Dimitri. You disappoint me. I had hoped a rational man like yourself would understand that the ends justify the means. Mm, I don't know. I don't see it that way. Yeah, I'm of late and I don't see it that way either. Then what's your next move? Turn me into the police. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. This is where Inspector Chelmy and Barton just bust the door open. Come on. Oh. You're mistaken in thinking I came here to report you to the authorities. I came here to stop the man who's been dragging my good name through the dirt. Ha! Huh. That's a noble sentiment, Herschel. But you seem to have forgotten one key detail. The Tyrant Pagoda is my stronghold, and that means you're on my turn. I, I have more than enough men here to overpower you. Look here. This 18th century relief illustration of our situation perfectly. How are we even supposed to turn him into the police in the first place? There's no police force anymore. Why would you? Why, yeah, why would you even suggest that? The only police force is literally Inspector Chelmy and Barton who are going around pretty much terrorizing every person. It displays two warring factions of five troops. The stars indicate the strength of each soldier. The red troop represent you in your current situation. The white troops are mine. It should be fairly clear who the winner, the victory will be. The white side has more powerful troops. There's no way Red could win. Exactly, your apprentice has a good head on his shoulders, Herschel. I think it's a touch premature to praise him in this case, Dimitri. I don't see why our troops need to lose, provide the battles are fought one on one. It sounds to me as if you simply don't wish to admit defeat. If you think victory is possible, prove it. <coughs> Alright, each soldier will engage one soldier from the other side in combat. Pair each of your red troops against one of the opposing white troops. Your troops are marked with an icon depicting Professor Layton. The strength of each soldier is represented by the number of stars on his banner. Arrange your forces so that the red side avoids defeat. So if I do it, I can't see half the stuff. Uh, one will be left here. One will be left there. Nothing. Four and three. <coughs> um, can I not just combine them into one big force? I really don't know. Am I, am I actually overthinking it? Each soldier will engage one soldier 
from the other side in combat. Pair each of your red troops against one of the opposing white troops. I overthink a lot because I know a lot of the questions are tricks and... So that's a draw, that's a win, that's a win, that's a loss, that's a loss. At this point I really don't know. There, each side wins two fights, loses two fights, and ties one. It's a perfect draw. Of course, but the red side lacks in troop strength. It can make up for with strategy. I find myself once again impressed by your logic. So we weren't actually looking for a win, we were looking for a draw. Very nicely done, Herschel. Okay. Give it up, Dimitri! <laughs> Give it up? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just getting started. Oh, there we go. Who is that? Oh. Bill Hawks. <sighs> As you can see, my hostage here is something of a big shot. So I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. You're a monster! Hmm. Oh. Oh, no. Alright, we've, we've solved 8 out of the 10 mysteries. Oh no, we're trapped. Becky, take it easy. Take it easy. Don't hurt yourself more than you need to. Oh no, we're trapped. Huh. I hate to disappoint you, but it seems you've failed to ensnare the genuine article. What? Huh? Professor? How did you get there? Just what is going on here? Why are there two of you? The Leighton family are the Leighton? Which one is the real professor? they got Don Paolo in somewhere. This is getting far too complicated. So when the when they entered like the pagoda courtyard area and Professor disappeared, he obviously went to go find Don Paolo, because obviously he would be in the future, to masquerade as Leighton. Ah This is getting far too complicated. Yeah. What's going on? Don Paolo is like the, basically Leighton's arch nemesis. He's a genius and an evil villain. Take note, Luke. A true gentleman never plays his ace in the hole until absolutely necessary. I'm not sure why he would help though, Fred. That is the other mystery. Hey, Leighton, here's an idea for you. Why don't you quit it with the lectures and get me out of here? Professor? Be patient, Luke. I just need to find a way past this lock. Puzzle time. <laughs> Alright, in order to open the cage, you'll need to decide which button to push. The rules are simple. Think of the buttons as squares. Each symbol indicates a direction you and you proceed from the square to square following these directions. Star equals left, moon equals right, sun equals down, and the water equals up. There is one square you can start from which allows you to pass through every square exactly once. Touch that square. So we start here, it goes up, star equals left, up, right, up. Left, left, down, left, up, but then we're still missing this section. 
Uh, we'll start here because it's going right all the way across. But then it does that same pattern. Um, so it needs to be here so that it goes this way. I'm going to go with that one. I've got a good feeling about this one. There we go. Just as I suspected. See, once we figured out that gets off, gets away most of it, and then that's a straight line. It was just a matter of filling in the blanks. It was seen the tables have turned, Dimitri. One trick way to solve it is to find the spot where none of the squares lead to. Yeah, that is a, that is a good way of thinking of it. That is definitely a good way of thinking of it. Uh, that's rather a delusional statement for someone with your penchant for logic, though. Look around you. In case you hadn't noticed, you're deep within the family's headquarters. I need only to say the word and my men will come rushing to my aid. <coughs> you underestimate me, underestimate me, Dimitri. Do you not think I'd be so naive as to set foot in your base without a plan of my own? Meaning? This building is fascinating in its complexity. I saw plenty of spots where one might conceal a trap or like. On my way up here, I set a few divergences of my own. Call your henchmen if you like. I imagine most of them will have their hands full for a few more minutes at least. Ha! Huh. Clever, Herschel. Very clever. Come on, boss, we've got a scarper. It seems I must concede defeat for now, but this is far from over. I look forward to seeing you when our paths cross next. <coughs> Drap, they're much faster than I thought. There's no chance of us catching them. Oh no. What's wrong? All this commotion allowed Demetri and his men to grab the Prime Minister and take him with them. Of course. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Dimitri's activated an alarm. This place will be flooded with family thugs before long. There's a distinct possibility that we may have to fight our way through, way out of the towering pagoda. But didn't you take care of Dimitri's henchmen on the way in, Professor? Not quite, I'm afraid. The few, the few diversions I managed to set up will only last a few more minutes. The path we took on the way in is almost certainly swarming with family now. Our only hope is to find some sort of emergency escape route. Dimitri's a prudent man. He may have one hidden somewhere in this room. We must search this place thoroughly. Alright, we can't go backwards, so... <coughs> ah, there's a trapdoor here. Then my hunch was right. It looks as if we found a way out of here. They must have built this stairwell for men lesser buff and muscular than me. There's more than one path. Which way do we go, Leighton? Look, there's a map here that charts out the network of tunnels below us. Let me see. My, this is a bit of a tangled mess, isn't it? Of course. Another puzzle. Um, in this dark maze of tunnels, you can't turn unless you hit a wall. Starting at the red dot... And following this rule, you need to reach the exit without taking the same path twice or running into any dead ends. So, we've got to hit a wall to be able to turn. We'll work backwards. Does that work? It hits a wall there, turns, hits a wall, turns, hits a wall, hits a wall, hits a wall. I feel that works. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh yeah. Just as I suspected. Just as I suspected. We found the way out. The passages below are too narrow for all of us to move through at the same time. 
If we want to get out of here quickly, we'll need to split into two groups. Hmm, I don't like it, but it seems we have no choice. Now, who should I take with me? You always get to be the gentleman this time. I want to escort the young lady. Sorry, but I prefer you to come with me, Don Paolo. Very well then, Flora and I will go together. Luke, you go with the professor and help him keep an eye on Don Paolo. Trade trade with me, little Luke. I want to... <coughs> I want to be in the professor's group. We'll see each other soon enough, Flora. Go with Big Luke and we'll, s we'll meet you back at the hotel. Alright, the groups are set. Let's get moving. Ouch, what did I just run into? Let me guess, a wall? Let's see. Hmm, this might actually be a door. Yes, it is. There's a handle here. Hmm, phew. Great. Now, where are we? We're at the bottom. We're at the bottom of an emergency stairwell. There should be a way out of the building here somewhere. Have we been in this room before? Or it just looks very similar. This door should take us outside. Well, look at that, we made it out. The family's bound to have some thugs in the vicinity. We need to put some distance between us and the pagoda. I still don't understand why Don Paolo's here. Can someone please explain that to me? Yeah, can you explain it to all of us? Always with the questions. Won't you put a lid on it for a few minutes, you brat? Ha. Huh. I most certainly will not. He's called Luke a brat. Uh, honestly, you two, would you please stop bickering? You're on the same side. And while I'm getting things off my chest, why the heck did I have to play the decoy who gets caught? Come now, Paul. It wasn't that bad. Your role was certainly the more exciting one. Professor, you still haven't explained what's going we on. We are? Well, I definitely want to know why. I knew why. we'd be monitored from the moment we stepped foot inside the pagoda. So I wanted to make sure we had at least one trick up our collective sleeve. Don Paolo, master of deception and disguise, seemed like the perfect man to employ for the task. Yeah. You two are friends? That's the first I've heard of this. Uh. Ha! Don't get it confused, kid. I'm no friend of his. That's more like it. We both want answers to the same questions. So we decided to work together. That's all. <coughs> when did this start? Tell me, Luke. When we visited Dr. Schrader, did anything he said strike you as strange? Um, um, no, not really. I wasn't. I don't think I was paying attention enough to figure it was out. This greeting that made me suspicious. Huh? Who's that? Oh, it's you, Herschel, and little Luke. Hmm. Yeah, I remember. But what of it? He didn't seem terribly surprised to see little Luke, did he? That is true. That is true. Of course. In the future, I'm not a kid anymore. But the doctor didn't even notice. Precisely. That means Dr. Schrader was... Don Paolo. Don Paolo in disguise, yes. All the plot twists are coming out so right now. So he knew he was a fake before he even said four sentences. Wow. You're good, Professor. Yep. That planted the seed of doubt. Though I didn't confirm my suspicion until much later. Did Don Paolo pose as anyone else? The whole, the whole, everyone. Yes. He did a bit of spying on us as Dean Del Mono when we met him last. From the moment I laid eyes on him, it was obvious we were dealing with an imposter. But at the same professor, we don't know if the doctor was suffering from dementia or something granted. Yeah. There's so many sort of small things that could have changed everything. His white hair gave it away. But white hair seems perfectly natural on a man his age. Not if he wears a wig. He let me in on his secret some time ago. He's been bald for ages. Well, 
That'd be nice to Don know. Don Paolo mistakenly selected a white wig to show how much Dean Dalmona had aged. Wow. Nice work there, Professor. Shortly after that, I confronted Don Paolo and had him tell me everything. So that's it very well. It seems Dimitri had been <coughs> paying him quite handsomely to make sure we headed toward the pagoda. I filled Don Paolo in on all the strange happenings we've witnessed here. And then I requested his assistance in solving this mystery. Well, that all makes sense, I suppose. But the part I still don't get is why Don Paolo decided he wanted to help us. Meanwhile, all the thugs are uh, coming after, after us. After so. all, this is the man who tried to run us over with a ferris wheel. Great cutscene, great cutscene. That's none of your business, brat. Hey! Call me a brat again and just see what happens. It was Claire, Luke. It all had to do with Claire. The woman Dimitri was talking about. <coughs> Claire was my girlfriend back when I was just starting my academic career. She was a researcher who worked in the same laboratory as Dimitri. Oh no! So she... Yes. The last time I saw her... She was on her way to the lab the day of that massive explosion. The oddest thing is that the accident received very little media coverage. It's clear someone with a lot of influence was suppressing information about the incident. I did everything I could to research the matter on my own. My efforts were largely fruitless. I had no idea. I'm loving the uh, voice actors right now because I don't have to say too much. It's likely that Dimitri feels he is to blame for Claire's death. His obsession with going back in time seems like a twisted version of atonement. What a terribly sad story. But what does it have to do with Let Don me Power? guess, Don Parra also loved Claire. Well, Luke, as it turns out, Dimitri and I weren't the only ones with strong feelings for Claire. Claire caused all of this, is what I can't... What is what I figured out. What? Don't act so surprised. I... Oh, I didn't mean to get that. Thanks for meeting me on such short notice, Herschel. Oh, no. It's my pleasure. Here, this is for you. What is <coughs> it? <laughs> A letter, of course. Read it at home. Oh. Why don't you just tell me what it says? I'm right here. He looks so innocent. Don't Molly, power looks so innocent. You're making this quite <sighs> difficult. What I want to say is... Yeah, I do well, want to know where future Don Paolo sure? and Professor this. is. <laughs> so that's how the hair came to be. <laughs> What was that? He just ran into the river. <laughs> if I run off into a river angry, that's how I'd want to run off to. Running Layton at the bottom. has been my arch nemesis ever since that fateful day. I see. Yes, though it's worth mentioning that I had no inkling of Paul's crush until he told me himself. He was in the year above me at <coughs> university. Imagine my surprise when I learned that Don Paolo was none other than my old classmate, Paul. Exactly, Lily. It's the best, it's one of the best ways to hide your tears, if you're fully submerged in water. I had no idea you'd been through so much. Sorry for being so mean to you, um, Paul. Ugh, spare me your sappy sympathy. And my name is Don Paolo. Address me as such, boy. Yeah, from what I can gather, Claire is dead. Um, unless they succeeded and actually got her into the future. Because we've seen little bits and pieces, but I think they've been flashbacks. And I think this whole thing has been to stop the explosion and save anyway, Claire. You put on quite the performance, uh, Don Paolo. 
With you distracting Dimitri, I had just enough time to do some sleuthing in the area. So that's what you were doing while we were climbing the pagoda. Did you find anything? Yes, but I need to confirm a few facts before I can connect all the dots. Of course he does. Then it sounds like that should be our next move. Where to, Professor? Oh, ho, ho. I'll let you ponder that for yourself. But first, we should head back yeah, to the hotel. Yeah, we should go get Flora. Flora and the other Luke are waiting for us there. <coughs> well, they better be. They better be waiting for us there. Flora's gone missing enough times. Do, 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 do. Across the Thames. Chapter 10. Alright, we missed a few puzzles, so we'll go do them. Luke, do you see what I see? I do, yet another banana skin sitting in the middle of the road. I'll go and pick it up. Hold on, Luke. Oi, what's wrong? Oh wait, let me guess, you've got another banana puzzle for me. Oh, right you are, my boy. <coughs> the third instalment. Alright, so where are we heading? This here. Oh, this is actually a tougher one. I think I got it. There we go. This. How about this? I knew it. Do, 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 do. These banana skins are all over the place. Do people in the future just love littering or what? I'm starting to wonder. <coughs> I don't want to waste too much time getting back to the hotel, so let's take the train. Sounds good to me. Fine. Then this is where we part ways. I've got other things to do. You sure you're not running off to formulate some kind of evil plan? Now, why would you ever accuse me of that? Truly, I'm wounded. I'm just going to work on a pet project of mine that I've been meaning to finish. Very well, Paul. Meet up with us later if you're ready. You can find us... Yeah, yeah, Leighton. I'm no fool. I'll know where to find you. <coughs> uh, what's wrong with the banana book? What's with the banana puzzles? Some just keep littering banana skins. Oh, I'm sure Claire got smoking hot after the explosion. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. It's, it's only a joke, it's fine. Uh, and now he's gone. Are you sure it's wise to leave him to his own devices? I understand your concern, Luke, but I think we can trust him now. I suppose so, Professor. He must have cared an awful lot for Claire if losing her to you... If losing her to you turned him into Don Powell. He certainly was quite besotted, but even about that now, we have work to do. Let's get moving. Right, but I still, I'm still none the wiser as to our next step, especially now. We know future Leighton is a fake. Well, in light of these new developments, our first priority is to rescue the Prime Minister. Dimitri fled the Tower and Pagoda with Mr. Hawks, so he must have another hideout in the area. And we're going to find it. Oh. But first we need to go to the hotel. That's right. We need to meet Flo Flora and Big Luke at the hotel. Hopefully they got back safely. Um, I'm actually going to divert slightly. <coughs> and go... The lost little puzzles would love to see you touch that tiny house over there and Go say on. hello. Don't be shy. Right. We're going to do loads of puzzles that we missed. Shape of the key. Oh, yay. Yay. I'm going to just assume you're in there. Uh, 
Um, that won't work there. Thank you for the luck, Lily. Hope you're doing well. Um, and you do you, Lily. Thank you for popping Allow by. Allow me to present my solution. Success. Success. The third youngest. Alright, ten, clo ten close brothers and sisters live together. Now, Luke, let's imagine that you're the eighth child. The oldest daughter is the second son's youngest sister, and the third son's oldest sister. And the fourth son is the second, second daughter's older brother, and the older daughter's younger brother. There are no boys in between the third and fourth daughters. Is the third child from the bottom a boy or a girl? <laughs> um, that's too much of like a tongue twister and mind boggling that... I'm gonna guess B. Hmm. It's a 50 50. How about this? <coughs> that was a complete guess. Phew. That's a relief. It's a boy. Ah, yes. Well, okay. That makes sense. Alright. Around the table. Around the table. One day, King Arthur invited a number of honoured guests to dine at the round table. At his request, everyone sat at the evenly spaced intervals around the table. After sitting down, two ladies in the attendance, Guinevere and Nimu, uh, were amused to find that neither of them had a woman sitting directly adjacent or opposite. What's the minimum number of people that were sitting at the round table? <coughs> Three. Because if King Arthur's there and then the two girls are there, no one's sitting next to them or opposite. So three, maybe I've overthought, this like, underthought this one. Solved. I definitely underthought this one. Let me think this through again. Did you try using a memory function to draw the diagram on the table and the people around it? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was trying to be a smart ass. Right, so this is the table. Arthur's here. Guinevere's here. And then boom, 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 boom. Three. Six, seven, eight. Am I, like, overthinking this? What's the minimum number of people that were sitting at the round table? Maybe it's two because they just sat in really weird places. This one's as good as solved. Maybe they just weren't sat there at all. To the drawing board. Oh no, I didn't mean to quit. <coughs> Anyone have any ideas? Anyone at all? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking five? 
That's the worst circle I've ever drawn. So Arthur there. Uh, Guinevere, another person. Let's call him Bill. Bill sat here. Um, Nim and then Dave sat here. That's definitely a D, guys. So it, it could be five. This one's as good as solved. It's fine, but I was trying to be too smart no about it, obviously. Can stop Layton's apprentice. No puzzle can stop Freya. Timely arrivals. Thank you for that posture check. I hope my posture is better for you. And better for me. That's not true. You saw me with a puzzle... <laughs> Uh, it was solved, was it not? Uh, thank you for the luck, Gecko Gaming. Trusty Gecko Gaming. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the luck. And thank you for popping by. Um, alright. I think my watch is five minutes slow, but it's actually five minutes fast. My friend thinks his watch is five minutes fast, but it's actually five minutes slow. If we try to show up at our meeting point at the same time but only checking our own watches how many minutes earlier than my friend will, than my friend will arrive all right let's say he's the one talking he thinks his five watch is five minutes slow but it's actually five minutes fast and this dude thinks his watch is five minutes fast but it's actually five minutes slow so surely there's a 10 minute difference. Because he's going to arrive 5 minutes earlier. No, wait, 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 that's wrong. Or maybe it is, but I'm going back to front with it. He thinks it's five minutes slow. Technically, he's going to be five minutes ahead of the actual time. No, no, wait. He's going to be... All right. I think my watch is five minutes slow, but it's actually five minutes fast. So does he just carry on with the time he's got, or does he alter his timing because he thinks it's five minutes slow? But he's technically five minutes ahead of schedule. Uh, my friend thinks his watch is five minutes fast, but it's actually five minutes slow. So that's actually not, that's putting him behind by an additional ten. Maybe. I don't know. That should do the trick. I think I'm thinking of this way too much right now. I was sure my logic was sound. The puzzle can be a tough one to wrap your head around at first. Try picking a set time for their meeting and work from there. That's not a bad up choice. Fred, what what are you thinking? Was I do this? We're going to assume the meetings at twelve o'clock. I think my watch is five minutes slow. So it's gonna be eleven fifty-five for this dude. What is what he thinks? 
But it's actually five minutes fast, so it's 12.05. Um, my friend thinks it's five minutes fast, so he thinks it's going to be 12.05. It's actually five minutes slow. So it's going to be 11.55. No, you can you can say you can say because to me that, that just looks too simple of it being he's going to arrive 10 minutes earlier than his friend So they are actually changing their routine because they think it's fast. Which gives them that 20 difference, like you're saying. So that would mean it would be... 20, it'll be, a, it'll be a minus 20, right? Because he'll actually be late. Right? No minus, he's early, his friend is late. Oh no, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm reading your thing wrong. That should do the trick. Yeah, okay. I knew 10 would be too simple. Puzzle solved. I'm not going to read that. Prayers told me everything I need to know. Alright. To be prepared in case of future shortages, we've decided to mill some of our green into flour and stash it away somewhere safe and dry. You've rustled up three different boxes that are suitable for storage. Which of these containers will store the most flour? That's definitely a no, because as soon as you open up midways, <coughs> well, when you pour it in, it's not gonna, it's only gonna store half. This one's good, but it this one, if you flip it over, uh, the lid will be, be like here. So sure, it's got to be A, because you can move the box around. I knew it. Luke knew it. A tidy bookshelf. Yeah, it is weird how you can go from something so mind-boggling to something that's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just that one straight away. Um, this this uh, game has definitely been very up and down with um, hard and easy puzzles, whilst the previous two, uh, Curious Village and Pandora's Box, weren't as bad as this one, I, find, I found. All right, arrange these books of equal thickness on the shelf according to the rules below. Alright. Um, there are no books to the left of the brown one. I want to assume that they're all stacked like that. Only one, only the blue book touches the brown. Uh, the yellow book is le is to the left of the white one. The blue book touches the purple one. The white book is sandwiched between the yellow and purple. Maybe it is side on. 
No, because it's doing left and right. Um, the other book is to the left of the white one. There's an empty space for one book next to the yellow one, but there's not. Unless, like, one's, like, at the top. But we know that there's no books left of the brown one, so that's fine. Only the blue book touches the brown one, that's fine. Can I turn this one? See, that can't work, because... The yellow book is to the left of the white one. The blue book touches the purple one, yes. The white book is sandwiched between the yellow and purple. Unless, like, it's meant to sort of go... That, um, I don't think that would work either. Am I missing something? Because there's no... There's no empty space for one book next to the yellow. Does it have to go side on? Yes. The white book is sandwiched between... No, they don't have to be the side, but I am missing something. Um... I feel the brown's in the right place, or there's... But only the blue touches... the brown. Only the blue book touches the brown. Um, the blue book touches the purple one. <laughs> the white book is sandwiched between the yellow and purple. What am I missing, Freya? Oh yeah, I'd love a hint. I'd love a hint. Consider the conditions. Is there a book you can flip open? You can flip to open some space. Well... So you're saying... I've nearly had it a bunch of times. Could I do it so that it goes across like this? And then that allows technically like open between the slots? I don't think that works though. The blue touches the brown, yep. Uh, the yellow books to the left of the white one, which is a no.
the white book is not sandwiched then. Here's a better hint. Which books are the same height? These three here. Could they all just be put in into each other? Like, I don't know, like how you do folders where you can put one back to front or something. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm really lost on this one. I'm sure it's really obvious. But even your hint there that's meant to be a better hint is not really grabbing it for me. I know there's meant to be one up above. Um, oh, wait, could oh, well, Maybe like that. There are no books to the left of the brown one, which is correct. Only the blue book touches the brown. The yellow is to the left of the blue. No, sorry, the yellow is left of the white one. The blue touches the purple. The white book is sandwiched between the purple and yellow. The white book is sandwiched between the yellow and the purple. But touches no other book. But then the yellow book is not to the left of the white one. Alright, here's, here's a hint you can give me. Out of the five at the moment, how many are do you think are in the correct positions out of five? Because it's not giving me the answer, but it is sort of saying how close I am. So one of you is going two, one of you is going three. Our Fred is corrected to three. All right. No. Wait, the yellow is to the left of the white, yeah. The white is sandwiched between those two and the... <coughs> I think that works. Here's my answer. No, the, wouldn't the white have to be moved over one? Let me think this through again. Because there needs to be a space for a book next to the yellow. Maybe like that. There's a there's a space for a small one. Oh, the see, I've always been trying to get it so the empty space, the yellow ones, to the right, but it could be to the left. Here's my answer. <coughs> also, the yeah, wild red. That's a relief. Uh, the white one can't be touching any other. The way I kind of interpreted that was it can't be touching other books for a while, which made it even harder. But we got there in the end. We got there in the end. That's the most important thing. Alright, three young lads are admiring a toy car that is on sale for £12. Jeff, 
If we pulled all our pocket money, Pete and I could buy this car together in two weeks. Sam. Well, Pete and I could buy it in three weeks. Pete. Not bad, because it will take... It would take the two of us six weeks to save up enough together. All pocket money is received weekly. How much pocket money does Sam get in pounds? Um... Pete and Jeff um, in two weeks, let's say they both do six pound each. So, well, Pete and I could buy it in three weeks. Sam and Pete. Oh, I don't think that's right already. Because <coughs> Pete would have it on his own in two weeks either way. Um, uh, Jeff and Pete. If they had three pound each, sorry, over two weeks it'll be six pound each with a total twelve. That's definitely a P. Um, Pete plus Sam. After three weeks, Pete would have nine pounds, and we just have to equal up to twelve, which is three. So he'd be getting one each. That's the worst line ever. Um, not bad, because it would take the two of us, two of you, six weeks. I feel it's a truck question. She's saying it would take six weeks for Jeff and Sam. So unless this person all oh, pocket money received weekly, how much pocket money to Sam get in pounds? It's going to be fairly low. Um, I'm just going to have a guess here. Um, I think it's one. Twelve million pounds, so one's the minimum, How but about this? someone's getting lower than I, I think. To the drawing board. <laughs> so even on the six week one, if Sam got two each time. He would get twelve pounds after the six weeks. Unless Sam's not getting any pocket money. Is it... Because two's just too much. One, one could have worked, possibly, depending on the others. 
So, uh, so I, I'm with you, Freya. It could be zero. This one's as good as solved. Now, the way the math works is that oh, J plus P really? equals six, P plus S equals four, <coughs> J plus S is two. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the discount. Alright, the shop only sells items that cost one, two, or three pounds. Um, if you buy two of the same item, you can buy a third one at half the price. You bought six items and paid £9.50. How many one, two, and three pound items did you buy? You bought at least one of each item. Line up the items to left or right to show how much of each one you bought. Thank you for the hydrates, Freya. Um. I don't know how much I can sort of strain up except for my neck here. So if he got another one here, that's six pound. Well, sorry, wait. We're, we're already at six pound here. Um, just from the one of each. If he buys that, it's eight. Um... You can buy the third one at half price. <coughs> whoa, 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 no. If he buys this one, it's nine. And this one is 50p, so it's 950. Yeah, there's only two ways you can get cents, which is either getting to this one or this one. I said cents because it's actually 50p. 50 pennies, because we're in, we're in UK here. Uh, but I get what you mean, Friday. Um, and this one, I think the threes would go way over the top. So it's like that, so it's three pound, five pound, seven pound, eight, nine, nine fifty. Here's my answer. <coughs> no puzzle can stop Leighton's apprentice. Alright, one more puzzle here. Bricks and billion. Looks like... Alright, a rowdy band of thieves are about to be apprehended and need to stash their swag according to their boss's orders. Um, right lads, there are... There are ten bars of gold. I'll fit right into the brick wall. Nobody will be none the wiser. We'll stash them here till we... To the eat dies out. Oh, I almost forgot the important part. Don't go putting any bigger bars on top of the smaller ones. Sound like a plan, lads? Okay. Can they be rotated? I guess not. I don't think that would work right. Because technically this is on top of something that's bigger. We'll, we'll test it out, but... I've got a good feeling about this one. <coughs> it is definitely that one. Mm. I must have overlooked something. It's definitely that one there, that one spot that um, I pointed out. Uh, we'll restart. Oh, that one's slightly bigger. That explains it. I did not realise... Uh... 
Oh, this is interesting. It's got to go that way round, so then that can go there. That can go there. Let's see if I've got this right. What? Where do we go wrong there? Hmm. I must have overlooked something. What did I overlook? It's this one here that I overlooked. No. Um. See, that's not gonna... Is there a way of making it so... There's got to be a way of making it. Let's just restart. This is a large one, but you can't go... It's got to go on the bottom somewhere. This is it. That should do the trick. There we go. <coughs> Few things satisfy like a puzzle. Yeah, song. some of these puzzles are quite hard to try and explain where you'd want to put stuff. All right, we'll do some mini game stuff. Um, we got to do this one and that one. <coughs> um. Let's just see where he ends up. Making me think we need to get it over here. What does that do? Okay, that worked. We helped Maya. Alright, we helped uh, this person. I think we got one more parrot game. We'll have a look at the car. Let's see where we get to with this line.
Maybe it'll just do some sort of acrobatic stuff. We, we will get rid of that one. Right, let's just see where it ends up. Oh, sorry. It just hits that. It's going to hit that one either way. Um, I'm just trying to find one that has good movement to it. It's got 12, it's got 18 seconds to deliver the hat. Could it bounce onto that? That's just going back and forth. Do, 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 do. That's. Mm. Why does it bounce if it's a steeper? I don't know what that's going to do. Nothing to help. These are definitely getting harder. If anyone has an idea of how to do it, it's okay to say. You got nothing. Oh no, we need to get height somehow. You can just kind of see if you two. So if you number them like one, like that's that's uh. I don't know. You're you're best off trying to describe the dots to where like the background images are. Um, so that I get it right. Otherwise, it's definitely not going to go right. You think you see? <coughs> so you're thinking the one on the scaffolding to the one above above the dress like you did earlier. Well, there's two on the scaffolding, so I guess that one, the one above the dress thing. 
and then will that get it over? You're thinking like that? I think it's got to be that. I've done quite a lot. So that's I don't think that one's I don't think adding that one in affects Something like that at the moment. So, connecting the two lights. And the diagonal one. And we're, we're hoping it lands here and then jumps over. Ah! You were right. Well done. Well done, team. Well done. A team effort by Friday and Freya there. Um, we'll do the toy car. Alright, so we've got to get all the flags and end up here. <coughs> huh. Can we jump over trees? I just want to test this. It would be easier if the bird could just fly. that way I'd want to end it like that um, go up here right down left up so it should go across here I think that could be it We're going to finish off the other car ones and then we'll call it. Yeah, I think there are sort of varied solutions to it all. Um, what was this button in the middle do? Is that a jump pad? Oh, 
Oh wait, close the bridge. Closes bridges. Closes and opens bridges, okay. figure out a way on top of coins and we might hit the switch at some point it's this one that's gonna bug me jump somewhere there's only limited places it can jump and it's got to be it's got to be here surely because it can't jump across and it can't jump across here unless it's meaning for you to come in at a different angle unless it wants you to do that let's say it does want you to do something weird like that It's gonna get these lot. It's gonna miss this one. I don't think this is right either. Because it's gonna go. <coughs> go. anyone has uh, answers to this one they can oh what's going on with stream labs you good stream yeah all right no just uh, twitch froze on me there This one's hard because it's got to get in and out of the center. See, I still think it needs to 
go in this way and then come out down and around to get to the end. So it's got to go up and there's got to be a left at some point in this row. So if it goes up, there's going to be a right hand turn there. Where do we go down? I feel that could be the ending section. So let's go there. Let's just connect to these lot. Um, so we're missing the outside. We don't need to jump at all, but we're going to do it anyway. I think that's it. It's getting the middle bit right. Oh! That's what we forgot to put in. That one. To actually get back across the bridge. I think we did it. I think we did it there. And I even put the jump in for extra measure. We did it. Um, and then we've got the bunny one. The oh, collecting carrots. And we have to end up back where we were. I don't see any reason not to go down and collect all this. Uh, so we go back up. Do we jump over and grab that one? No, because it would be too close to the end. We could jump that and go across. So I think the path is sort of fairly laid out for us. Uh, we need a down, left and up, a right, we need a jump there. If I put them all in correctly, oh I just went back didn't I? Oh, okay. Luckily it saved. So we've still got a few carrot patches stuff to do. <coughs> um, and we'll save picture book till the very end so we know we've like solved all the puzzles, we've got all the uh, stickers and everything. Um, but we will save it there and leave it there for the end of stream. Um, let's have a look at who is streaming so we can go give a raid um we've got our boy the skyline superman doing mario odyssey he's very early on in the game so if you haven't seen it before you haven't really missed much uh we've got someone playing stardew valley we've got someone playing Professor Layton and the Lost Future, or Unwound Future. Uh, Some playing Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, we've got a vote for George, who's playing Super Mario Odyssey. I think we will we'll skip out on the Layton streamer, because we've raided them twice very recently. Um, so, and we haven't raided George for a long time, so I, th I, think, we'll, I think we'll go raid our boy George 
Um, I can't just put in George into Raid Channel because that's not his channel name. So go say hi to the Scotland Superman, aka George, if you haven't. Um, just join the lark, just to uh, make his day. To surprise him a bit. Let's see if we can scare him as well. Alright. Uh, thank you all for joining us <coughs> in our Leighton adventures. Um, I reckon one or two more streams of this and we'll be done. I think I've said this before already, but I forgot how long this one is. Um, so I reckon two, one or two more streams because there's going to be a lot of text and storyline to go through. And we should be done, I think. And then we'll move on to the next one. Alright. But tomorrow we'll be playing A Wolf Among Us for the first time. So I hope to catch you all there. Then catch you all tomorrow for that. If not, it's Sea of Thieves Thursday. And then Friday is either Sea of Thieves or Subnautica. Or maybe it might change depending on who's available, who's available to play games and what we're feeling. So I'll catch you all in the next stream. Peace.